Hey masters, welcome back to Joang Media. Today I have a very interesting video about this plugin named Cypress Expat. We're gonna be using this plugin to use the Expat expressions to find elements in the, in the DOM. We're gonna be implementing this with the page object model and at the end you're gonna be uh, learning also a new trick uh, that I'm gonna be using in the page object model to have uh, the page methods displayed in the uh, Visual Studio Code uh, kind of suggestions so please stay until the end and let's go ahead with this beautiful video okay as you can see in this library um, well basically it help us to implement the well to find elements using XPath so the first thing that we have to do is install this, this dependency as as uh, I think that dev dependency is using this uh, this line here npm install a uh, dash d and then the library name right which is cypress expert so you just have to install that as soon as you have done this well it is going to be this displayed in the package.json and here you are going to have a new dev dependency named cypress expert so it is done the next step that you have to do is basically come and well look for the cypress support dash index.js uh, folder right so you just have to come here support look for the index.js file and here you have to add this line which is require cypress expat over here once you have done that well you are free to go and we'll start working with expat in cypress so uh, as i told you and I'm, I'm gonna be working with the page object model that i have created for this a website here which is saucedemo.com as you know uh, we have created a, a kind of four tests for for this website and i have created a model right so if i go to my page model over here i have created this one and as you can see it, it is a simple class which uh, is named home sauce page it has the list of elements that i want uh, to well find or locate for this uh, page I, I, I will map the username input, which is this one. I have mapped the password input, which is this other one. I have mapped also the login button and uh, also the error message that I have that I'm receiving when I am doing something wrong here, which is this one epic sad face. If we inspect that, basically it is a H3 tag. So, well, uh, if you take a look of this, I'm using the scigat command uh, and I'm looking that for, I'm actually looking for the elements using the CSS selectors, right? So, uh, I'm going to be changing this to uh, to use the XPath plugin. So, I'm going to be copying this, uh, this page and I'm going to rename it, right? It is going to be named uh, Homsos page. Expat, right? That's amazing. Now that I have done this and I have a new file, I'm gonna be editing this to have or actually use the Expat uh, plugin. So, uh, the first thing that I want to do is actually look for this input, and I'm gonna be looking for this element using an Expat expression, looking for a for an attribute, right? So, um, let's imagine that I want to look uh, this element with Expat. So I'm gonna use double uh, slashes to find an, uh, a relative element, right? Or actually a relative expression. Once that I have done this, I have to look for the input tag and then I can look for a specific attribute if I want. In this case, I'm gonna be looking for the data test attribute over here. Once I have done this, well, I just have to look for a, a specific uh, value. So in this case, I want to look for the username over here. And now I have my expression to find this element over here. So I'm gonna come here to my uh, page model and I'm gonna be, if, well, replacing the scigat for scixpath. And then I have to use backticks and, well, exp specify the expat expression that I, that I'm, well, I have created in the, in the dev tools, right? And now this is the new syntax that I'm gonna be using for this project, right? Now let's, let's do the same stuff for the password i'm gonna be looking for the password uh, data test which is named um well it's password actually <laughs> right so i'm gonna come here and i want to implement the or expression or the or conditional in case that this data test changes i also want to make sure that well if it is not data test password i want to look it for the with with the id 
and the ID in this case will be a uh, password too. So in case that uh, the data the data test changes uh, to password password D, right? Well, it, it actually finds the element because we have another conditional here and we have the ID uh, password uh, correctly in the element. So it is just a kind of, uh, <laughs> well, to use the, the stuff that we saw in the last video. If you haven't checked that, please go ahead and watch it because we have reviewed the basics of XPath uh, in general, right? You can use this syntax and, and basics in any other framework out there. So. I'm going to be using this syntax for the password input over here, right? So then I'm going to be saving this and, uh, well, I'm going to look for the login button too. In this case, I'm going to change the, the strategy uh, a bit. In case of looking for a particular element, I'm going to be using the asterisk in order to find all the elements. And I'm, I'm going to be looking for the input, but with a specific um type for example okay and the type will be submit and there it is i have identified my element right using the asterisk i'm not specifying the tag but using the type uh, well i'm capable to find the login button well using this syntax so the same stuff i'm gonna come here i'm gonna replace the scigit command to sci xpath and then well inside of here we have to well, look for that expression. Remember to use backticks because we have here a ticks, simple ticks inside of the expression. So we need to use backticks at the beginning to uh, use the well, the, the well, use this this kind of syntax, right? That's basically <laughs> what we need to do. And then we have to look also for the error message. Um, well, input actually it is an. I'm not sure what it is. It is an H3. As you can see, it is an H3 which has a button here. And uh, uh, well, I, I want to I want to get this message over here. So well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using a simple expression just to look for the H3 tag that we have in the in the HTML DOM, right? Because we only have one right now. So I just have to replace my selector here with Psi Xbot and use back in this case i can use simple text right and there it is now i have implemented the xpath in my page object model right um so i'm gonna go to my integration folder which is the place that i where i have my my scripts i'm gonna be looking let's just let me take a look i'm recording yeah and i'm gonna be looking for the page object model uh, folder and inside i have this particular um, script if you remember uh, or if you don't please go ahead and check the page object model uh, video and also the uh, iterate over a json uh, object because we have implemented a way to consume this data from a fixture let me just show you this uh, we're consuming the data from the fixtures data driving source user so data driving source user you can see that i'm currently using a set of data here right and I'm consuming it with this for each. Let me just show you that um, in this for each. And we are calling this object test to iterate over the information that we have in that particular object, right? So please go ahead and watch it because, well, in this case, I just want to implement the, the page object that I have created. So in this case, I'm going to be doing a, a simple change to show you something. It, right now, I have implemented the page object model with import home source page from and the path where it is located, right? Right now, well, if I look for home source page, mm -hmm, right? And if I try to look for the methods that it, ha that it has inside, I am not capable to, to find, right? The, for example, the, the type username or the type password or the click login, right? You might be wondering, but it is because it is in, in XPath, right? But it is the same stuff in the home source page original JS file, right? So there is a way to access those, those methods. And this is something that I, I've learned from, from a co-worker. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> and well, I'm going to try to explain you right away what how, how we can achieve that. In, instead of using import home source page, right? 
uh, I'm gonna be looking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a constant. I'm gonna declare a variable here, and it is gonna have the same. Um, well, the same name, right? The, the same. Um, well, kind of object name, home sauce page, right? But in this case, instead of using from, I'm gonna be using require, right? And inside of the required, we just have to look for the exactly the, the path where it is located. In this case, it's in, it's in pages, sauce demo, and home sauce page xpath. And there it is. Now, let me show you. If I come here and look for home sauce page, now I have well the different uh, methods, right? Click login, type passwords, uh, type username, and it was just changing the import syntax to const, uh, right? And then require the, the the well the file. And now you have access to all the actually also the elements, right? Let me show that elements. You have access to, to, to that particular array. If I'm not wrong, it was an array, right? It is an object here, right? So. I just wanted to show you that and well the changes were, were applied now right we have we're in a uh, requiring the uh, home sauce page expat file over here and uh, well the the script itself uh, remains the same right because the only changes were uh, done inside of the page model to change the, the the selector strategy so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna be uh, well opening the test runner and in this case, it is using the Cypress open command that I have created in my package JSON. And well, I have to do npm run Cypress open. And let's wait a few seconds until it is uh, executed. And then I'm going to be looking for the page, the POM folder, and then uh, look for it. Let me see why it is not there. Um, this home sauce page expat. Oh, I see. No, 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 no. Let me see what is happening. Oh man, I, I've done something wrong here. <laughs> I have changed the the the. Well, it is it's, it is okay, right? You know that well. The home source feature that the spec JS has the recent changes uh, that I have done, right, with the expat implementation. So I, I can execute this spec. And if, if the XPath is working fine, we are gonna see the results here, right? So let's let's take a look. It is working fine. It is finding the elements in the same way that I was doing that with the CSS selectors, and it is working fine. So guys, uh, if we took also a quick overview of the XPath library or the plugin, you can see that we can also chain XPath of another command using well the syntax over here. Uh, we can use the side within um, expression or actually method to well find elements within a particular expression and we have also other explanation here that you you can see we can use this with typescript and intelligence support using this one over here right or in implementing that in the ts config that json and well that's basically it, it, it right thank you very much for watch this video I hope that you understand and learn something new uh, today. And thank you very much if you leave a, a, a like or a subscription or a simple comment because it is going to, well, be amazing for me. I appreciate it too much. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye bye.